In 24.3, Tableau have announced Tableau Cloud Manager. Now, in order to understand this, you have to understand a few things. So I'm going to try and explain it as fast as I possibly can. There are two ways of engaging with a Tableau platform, Tableau Cloud and Tableau Server. What's the difference? Well, Tableau Cloud is managed by Tableau. It's a hosted capability, whereas Tableau Server is self-hosted. That means your IT organization deploy and manage and look after and upgrade Tableau Server. How do you know which one you're on? If you head to Tableau Cloud or Tableau Server, you go to the top uh, little sort of pane up here and you select About Tableau. <laughs> it should say Tableau Cloud, <laughs> but in the recent change, um, whoever's changing this terminology, I think put the wrong thing here. They put Tableau Server version 24.3. Now there is no 24.3. That's how I know this is a mistake. Uh, there's only 24.2. So this should say Tableau Cloud if you're using Tableau Cloud. The other way to know that you're using Tableau Cloud is that you'll have a pod. A pod is essentially an instance the Tableau Cloud is running on, essentially the region. So 10AX refers to Arizona in the AWS uh, naming conventions. So in this case, this Tableau Cloud site that I'm on is based in America in Arizona. Okay, the other thing you'll know is up here at the top, it will say online.tableau.com with the name of the pod in the front and then site and then the name of your site. You typically have to type this in when you log in. So that's how you know if you're on Tableau Cloud or Tableau Server. What has happened in 24.3 is Tableau have announced something called Tableau Cloud Manager. And this is something that replicates a capability that existed in Tableau Server. In essence, what you could do in Tableau Server is create something called a site. And the site is a bit of a conceptual uh, thing in the Tableau platform. It essentially creates separation between environments. So uh, I'll give you an example. Let's say you need to deploy Tableau in your organization, but the finance team wants to have a completely separate Tableau server or Tableau setup to the whole rest of the organization. Now it would be pretty frustrating if what that meant is that you'd have to go out and buy another server and deploy that inside of your organization if you're using Tableau server. Well, Tableau sites allow you to do this. A site is something that's separate, essentially. So if I have two sites on my Tableau server instance, they would not know about each other's data sources, each other's users. They could even have different authentication mechanisms and even different license splits. That's how they work. And so what Tableau have done is they've brought this capability to Tableau Cloud because up until now, you could only have one site with Tableau Cloud. It was kind of like a one-to-one -one relationship. So one customer, one site. And actually the reality was, is that's not the case. So let's dig into this a little bit more. If I go into this uh, image that I've loaded up from the marketing, I don't have access to <laughs> three Tableau cloud sites, so I can't show you what it looks like. But if you've got Tableau server and you're an admin, you can actually go to an interface that looks similar to this in Tableau server. And essentially there's just a few key things you can do. So you can create a new site. Obviously there's a very simple interface for you to do that. Uh, you can additionally uh, give certain resources, things like licenses, storage, and even enable them to have different types of authentication. And so that is all the capability that sits inside of what's called the cloud manager. Now the cloud manager allows you to see all your different sites. Whereas before in Tableau Cloud, you just had the settings page and that was it. So that's sort of what I'm showing you here. It's just an image. I don't have access to it. But if you go to Tableau's press release, they have a pretty good uh, uh, article that explains it. Now, the thing that I find really interesting here is I had no idea just how many organizations need this capability. Now, I had the assumption that you know a, a company that needs multiple Tableau Cloud instances probably has you know a handful. I'm talking maybe five or six or seven Tableau cloud instances. And yes, they probably have to purchase those all separately. And now they can bring them all under one roof uh, to kind of manage them in one place. But what I didn't know is there are actually many, many, many companies that need not just, you know, a handful, not just 10, considerably more Tableau cloud instances. And for lots of good reasons. And um, you can kind of think of a site as an artificial boundary between capabilities on your analytics platform. And if you think of organizations, there could be things like regulation, there could be things like governance that are dictating that boundaries are enforced in a very representable way. And sites give you that ability to be able to do that. You might sort of, you know, suggest someone goes to use the project structure to do this. And if they're really good with permissions, they could replicate something that works but sites give you that absolute hard wall. There is nothing that goes in between the sites. 
and they can share resources and you can even stipulate um, what resources are shared and what resources are sort of delegated down to each environment. And so here, um, the thing to call out is that Tableau Cloud Standard only has up to three sites. This is the standard edition of Tableau Cloud, Tableau Cloud Enterprise, which I think is probably what most people have been on because Tableau Plus is only a new thing. So Tableau Cloud Enterprise up to 10 sites. And then if you really want all the sites in the world, 50 sites or more, then you have to go up here. Now, actually, it's not 50 sites or more. It's up to 50 sites. The reason I say more is because in talking to a few people at Tableau, turns out there's some companies that have considerably more than 50 sites in Tableau Cloud. Crazy. Anyway, that's the update. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.